Hi, I'm Jason Matthews with Matthews Painting Company. Here is another tutorial of ours that we show all of our new employees on how to become painters. Today's lesson is basically explaining what we call a cut bucket. It's just a simple tin bucket that we use here at Matthews Painting. The reason we like these is that we can get these liners. They sit right in the bucket like that. And if we have several colors going on throughout a house, we can just pull that out, put another liner in, and then keep going. It's a way to also keep your bucket fairly clean. Uh, when we use a cut bucket, the way we like to hold them is we like to get three fingers underneath the bucket, sometimes four. Now, some of our gals that work with us, they uh, can't quite get all of their fingers around there like some of the guys, but we like to kind of cup it around the bottom and then bring our thumb up and over the actual handle here. Now there are some that hold the bucket like this, fingers down and the thumb, and I will tell you that's really easy to actually spill paint. It'll fall out of your hand. We don't wanna do that. We do not wanna hold our bucket like this. You're coming up and under with your thumb, fingers coming under like this, and many times I even hold it against my body while I'm actually cutting in. Now what I mean by cutting in is we actually dip our brush in and we're using our brush. That is called cutting in. It has nothing to do with a knife or a razor blade, but cutting in is simply anything you do with a brush on a job site. And so we're gonna talk about pouring paint um, into a cut bucket. All we do is we grab the paint bucket handle with one hand. I always keep my brush in my other hand we put about two inches into the bottom of the cut bucket, and then we clean the edge off like so. The reason we clean this edge off and go back into the bucket is so that when we put our lid back on, paint doesn't go all over the place. We had talked on an earlier video that when we put our paint lid back on, we like to actually put one of our rags over the top before we put our lid on. But if you can see about the amount of cut paint I have in there, that is about as full as we go with the paint. And again, you might be able to see it a little better like this. We do not work out of a full bucket. Also, as we are going into our cut bucket with a brush, many people are used to kind of doing this and wiping out their brush. That actually takes all the paint out of your brush, which is what you do not want to do. We actually will go in about this far and tap it a couple times on the edge. What that does is it packs the brush full of paint so that you can actually paint longer without spending all day dipping in your bucket for the paint.